Hello and welcome to a new quick bite. This is Sri Harsh, and in this video, we will get to see how leveraging FX Corp can help us achieve high code quality. If you do have any questions or feedback, please feel free to reach out to me on any of those displayed links. We will start with a very simple code sample that we'll be working on. We will then use Visual Studio's inbuilt code analysis tool to help us identify any issues with this code sample. Next, we will run FX Corp and see if its report is any different as compared to that of Visual Studio's code analysis. We will also dig a bit deeper here and understand how to identify and resolve issues with code to help increase code quality. Lastly, I will redirect you to the, the download link from where you can download FX Corp and get your hands dirty. So let's get started. As you can see, this code sample is very simple indeed. It just has one class called math with one method called add, whose main job is to add up both parameters and return the resulting sum. Of course, the add method also does some kind of validation and throws an exception if any of the parameter values are empty or null. So will this code cause any issues to be reported when we run Visual Studio Code Analysis? Surprisingly, no. As you can see, I have used Microsoft All Rules as a rule set for code analysis to use. And yet, no code analysis issues were detected. Now let's see what FX Corp has to report on the same code sample. How this works is you will need to add the built assembly of the code sample as a target to FX Corp. You can do this several ways. And over here, I'm drag dropping the same from the Explorer window onto FX Corp's target pane. We now need to click on the Analyze button to begin analysis. As you can see, FX Corp reports seven errors on the same code sample that Visual Studio Code Analysis reported nil. Now, this is surprising, right? OK, now, let's dig deeper and understand what's the error all about. Over here, I have selected one of the breaking errors on the top pane. And FX Corp displays its detail on the bottom pane. This particular error has been reported because we have broken a rule that states that we should not be raising reserved exception types. If you remember from the code sample slide, we were throwing an exception of type system.exception. And this is not allowed. Now let's focus on the highlighted resolution, which clearly states the same. If you need more help or details, you can click on the help link just below the resolution. This will take you to a resource on MSDN. Help is usually quite detailed on MSDN, and you can easily understand what the rule is all about and how you can fix the breaking code. So let's fix some. Here, I have refactored two things at large the input parameters and the validation code. I have refactored the input parameter names to more meaningful names. And now I throw an argument null exception instead of the system.exception. Remaining code functionality stays the same. So after the fix, if we rerun FX Corp analysis, it now reports five errors. So it's down by two. So the key takeaway, if anything else, is FX Corp does ensure that you are writing the highest code quality code. You can download FX Corp for free from CodePlex. And I urge you to do so today. This brings us to the end of this talk. I hope you have learned how you can leverage FX Corp to help you maintain high co code quality. Thank you for your time and happy learning.